Okay YouTube, today we're working on a 2010 Chevy Silverado 1500 LT with a 5.3 liter. I'm getting this code of P0430, catalyst system, efficiency below threshold bank 2. This particular truck has 125,000 miles on it. And you can see the check engine light is on. So, from my previous videos... Um, the last thing we repaired on this truck was the lifters in the truck and as a result of my lifters um, my catalytic converter is now bad uh, bank 2 on a Chevy Silverado is actually the right side um, I went ahead and tried to buy a new sensor for after the catalytic converter and that did not solve the trick they wanted a lot of money for this catalytic converter uh, to install it so I ended up going with this MagnaFlow catalytic converter as you can see this is actually three catalytic converters it comes with them separated that way you can band it together right there with that clamp um, the clamp for here actually should still be on the truck and then there's three bolts that basically hold each one in place this one comes with this washer you see and then this side has this flange so I did go ahead and as you can see we got the truck up on jack stands and I first went underneath there and sprayed this PB blaster. It's penetrating oil basically. So I sprayed this on the bolts to help uh, me get them off because as with the exhaust, they're probably on there pretty good. Um, I'm going to let this soak for about a half an hour and then I'll get under there and I'm going to take the bolts off of both sides then what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and just how this one's split once I get the bolts out and everything disconnected I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, the old catalytic converter out of there that way I don't have to drop anything like you might see on other videos uh, the MagnaFlow is a high flow catalytic converter um, I paid about $700 for this one but you don't have to weld which is great um, Obviously, you have to unscrew your sensors, disconnect your sensors, get everything out of the way. I'm not going to show you guys the whole tear out, but basically, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and install this, and then I'm going to reset the code and see if uh, the catalytic converter's out. Of course, the cheap fix first was to replace the sensor, which I tried that, hoping for the best. Did not happen. I'm assuming the reason why the right catalytic converter went bad is because uh in my previous videos when i replaced the lifters it was on that right side that i had a bad lifter um, i did replace all lifters the truck ran fine for a while but the code came up and now it won't go away which doesn't allow me to use my auto start and in here in colorado uh i like to start my truck before i go to work so stay tuned 